Well, uh, I kind of fell behind. Smogist has Seascist. Dragons are no more. It's your local man, Dead Bite Sprayed, and we're gonna look over the final eight dragon fake mon I created for Smogist 2021. In case you didn't know, this is the fourth Smogist video I've made, so if you haven't seen the previous 23 fake mon I've created, be sure to go check those out. This video is really delayed because the beginning of September was wojus, but it's here now, so enjoy it. I livestreamed the creation of most of these guys on my second channel, so if you want to be notified whenever I'm live, be sure to subscribe to Deadbed instead, or join my Discord. Links for both are in the description. And without further ado, let's finish this. So be me and have a big fat wrench thrown at your schedule of streaming every day. Yeah, some stuff was going down on not only day 24, but day 25 as well. So I couldn't stream, let alone even access my PC. It wasn't until day 26 that I decided to do a brainstorm stream and figure out the two dragons that I'd missed, as well as the one due that day. Anyway, the prompt honey scared me. Maybe that's a tad hyperbolic, but Citrus Knight, my prompt for lemonade, also fit honey, maybe even more so than lemonade. In researching, I wanted to go for a crystallized honey vibe, I found something called sweat bees. They're bees that are attracted to perspiration. And something just clicked. Swebby has a buzzwall vibe with its honey resembling sweatbands. I like this guy, but it's probably the most prominent example during the month of just slapping the dragon type on something because dragon month. We all know what a rainbow is. Thought about some sort of cloud dragon with perpetual rainbow underneath. We've already had two cloud-esque dragons this smogist, so I wanted to avoid it. Being Irish, leprechauns came to mind. You know, they hide their pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I'm on and off working on a region based off of Ireland, so you bet I have a leprechaun-inspired Pokemon already. Did an absolutely absurd amount of research into the different types of rainbow. They are all super cool, and settled on something called a circumhorizontal arc which is also known as a fire rainbow. They're created when uh, light reflects off of ice crystals in the atmosphere instead of rain. So while they're technically not rainbows, they still encompass the color spectrum and they look dope as hell really. Arxorus is great on a conceptual level, but translating it visually left a lot to be desired. Pokemon have about three colors at most, so trying to encompass the seven rainbow colors just makes it seem way too visually cluttered. Also its design is just very, very basic. Just a big fiery sky worm with some ice crystals. Not my best guy at all. Oh, why didn't I rec- Ah, oh, you idiot. Okay, look, I'm gonna be just totally honest for a second. I have written the script for this. I tried to ad lib it before. I couldn't do it. With this guy for patience, I just don't, I just don't wanna write anything for the script. I just, I have nothing. Basically, it's patience. I thought of what patient animals are. Obviously a tortoise, you know, they're big. I don't know what big has to do with it. They live very long, they're very slow. You know, they're about as patient as you can get. So then I figured, you know what would be cool? Kind of a tortoise meditating in its own shell. Problem, that had already been done by Spyro 2 in Sunny Beach. I've been playing a lot of Spyro and I, I replayed the Ignited Trilogy. <laughs> I replayed the, <clears throat> fuck my life. I would replayed the Ignited Trilogy throughout Smogist. Spyro's on the brain. Figured then, you know, you can't really copyright the idea of a turtle sitting in its own shell. So, you know, came up with the Tortemp. He's a psychic dragon type. Its shell can flop on over onto its back if it needs some defense. And when I tried to upload this to Discord, the bot said that it was an explicit image, which may have to do with the overall shape of this dude. On day 13 for Tropic, I wanted to avoid doing a monkey because I knew that Gorilla would be a prompt. However, I completely managed to overlook that Frog would also be a later prompt. Technically, Froxen is a froglet, but we'd like to avoid any similarities if possible. I took my primary basis from the Gliding Frog. It's a frog with really big feet that it can catch the wind with, but it wasn't weird enough for Dragony. I'm working on a formula for designing Fake Man. I say working on because it's not quite there yet, but I just knew that this guy needed more. My chat made me aware of Ribeoia on the tray. The fuck? A parasite that affects frogs, which can result in them having multiple legs. What in the even? Well, if that incredibly dark origin isn't just the perfect thing to turn into a Pokemon design. Froglide has two sets of legs, which it can use to gain altitude on its opponents. It can also just kind of lay back if it needs to sit down, you know, sitting on its back, pine legs, pine back, back, 
back legs? Which then it's just standing? Oh, oh fuck no. When I started the challenge of Smogist, I made a rule that I wouldn't be redesigning any of the fake mod that I created during last year's Smogist. While I did stick to that criteria, I maybe sorta of cheated. Just a just a little bit. The berry prompt had me immediately thinking of dragon fruit. And wouldn't you know it, I'd already done that exact same thing during October 2019. Yeah, it's a dragon, but it's not from last year's Smogist, so still counts. I ended up removing the wings as I felt that they cluttered up the design. I adjusted the proportions and the personality, and Potato ended up being one of my favorites. Even if people do say that it looks like a Gigantamax Wurmple. Armor, yes, with a U, learn to spell America, was a very easy prompt to work with. A lot of animals already have armor of sorts, with protective shells, hardened skin, spines, the works. Figured we'd go for one of the most armored animals to ever have lived, an Ankylosaurus, with some heater shield elements thrown in for good measure. For real though, I always thought for my whole life that they were pronounced Ankylosaurus, like they had big ankles or something. It's Ankylosaurus. If you're today years old when you're learning this, you're welcome. Heater shields are named such because they resemble clothing irons, which are hot, so I figured a fire steel type would be pretty cool, with its spikes heating up mid-battle, both stabbing and searing its opponents. As a fun contrast to an earlier fake mon this month, I imagine Kyla Scorch would be the counterpart fossil to Dinoceros. Both are steel type. One is cool, one is cute. Maybe they both got stuck in iron. Oh fucking no, rock isn't a mandatory type for fossils anymore. Don't ruin my fun. Pink was probably the most broad of a prompt I could have gotten. It's a color. How do you even explain a color? Anything can be pink, even things that aren't pink can just be turned pink. It's pink! It was so broad and overwhelming I decided to narrow it down to something that's naturally occurring in nature. Cherry blossoms. I thought about animals that represented spring, a lot of them do, and I settled on a deer, with cherry blossom antlers that could also be wing-shaped maybe? It was also influenced by Saw's book, just a, just a tad. Maybe this is a legendary that represents spring, showing up at the start of the year. Prancing all around and lowering the game FPS due to the amount of goddamn flowers on it. While I do like Sir Vernal, creating it took by far the longest out of all the fake man the smogest. So it's sort of a love-hate relationship. A forbidden romance. Final prompt on the list was Panko, which is Japanese breadcrumbs, but also the name of Jack's dog, the guy who created the list. I figured that given it was the last day, I'd stream this on the main channel instead of my second, and as a treat, I'd do a custom prompt. I didn't have anything prepared going in, but Banana was suggested by a viewer, and for a fake man review in the future, I will indeed be redesigning an old banana dragon. I figured I would give a blessing and show the people a sneak peek of an upcoming redesign for the fake man reviews. What a perfectly dead bedspread way to round out Smogist. Also, it's only grass type. What the hell? Thank you everybody for watching. If you've watched all of our videos, you have my infinite love and appreciation. I actually ended up making a tier list of all of these dragons on stream after I designed Dranana. That's over my Twitter, if you want to see it. I'm feeling just a little bit burnt out, but it's like, like it's the 9th of September when I'm recording this, so I really need to just get this out, because we are a bit behind in what I want to be doing. Uh, I have videos in the works. Just need to grab that motivation by the antlers and ride it into battle. I don't know what I'm saying. I wish you all the best. I'm Dead Bedspread. My outro is backwards.